Hi. I was watching another video about glitter and lasers. I've been seeing glitter and lasers and fat girl flow circulate a lot. I kind of feel like when people get bored about Eugenia, they um, mosey on over to the them like they're they're usually kind of circulated but i just feel like it kind of has been all over my like glitter and lasers making an ass out of herself in target and fat girl flow uh something about wiping her ass i don't know but um eventually they get met with criticism and backlash and honestly with with cases like them i think they they're just trying to be these heroes that nobody fucking needs you know and i think everyone is kind of i mean whenever you make a YouTube channel, especially one like this and stuff. We're all just kind of up here acting like, oh my God, we have like these urgent news stories. Like there's this thing that's destroying the world. It's destroying society. And we have to bring it to your attention right now. And we're exposing this crazy underbelly and this evil wrongdoing and um, this and that, or this, here's the hidden truth behind this company or this lies or this, these, this evil creator. I mean, like that's what the news has done always. It's like, you got to watch it. You're going to die. But, um, you see all these like, oh my god, the legging gap bullshit is coming to starve you to death and uh, we got to save you, we got to save you from these diets. And then I think in the body, body positivity and recovery spaces and um, I mean, I just, I don't think that that's the way you you be the hero to the, to this kind of problem, especially whenever you're conveniently ignoring like but like the consequences of the overindulgence of food can have and that's like taboo to even bring up in those kinds of communities and um it's, it's like all these weird problems are being created by prioritizing not triggering people and there's no in between it's never just like one fucking candy bar to, it, to embrace your curves or fully honor your body's hunger cues or what the fuck ever. It has to be like a whole fucking Dunkin' Donuts mukbang. It's just, it's a fucking mess. And I feel like the body positive people weaponize people with eating disorders and demand, like, I hear, whenever I hear demand every, just educate yourselves, like fucking Tess Holiday. Like, if she spent one goddamn minute educating herself on eating disorders she would have been able to fake one a lot more convincingly because i have been a fat anorexic i have been 253 pounds up on my pro anna and in pro anna chat rooms and stuff absolutely nobody has ever questioned me or judged me or like if anything pro anna spaces have been more accepting and welcoming and understanding and non-judgmental of me than therapists and stuff have at higher weights but um, they're usually, they're very responsible with um, how we accept people into those spaces. We uh, kind of just ask for their stats and their weights and um, like, well, I mean like how their weights throughout the years because like it is an indication. Like if somebody, if I were to go there and I was like, I was 253 pounds and it has never changed and this is why, like, you know, they're, they're just like ways you can kind of weed out somebody who's like full of shit. There are a lot, there are fakers, you know, and um that that wouldn't be the end all be all it would be like if somebody seemed we could usually tell pretty quickly if somebody was full of shit or not but if we couldn't then we just like the moderators would all talk about it amongst ourselves we try to be really responsible with it but um when um it's like whenever a fat girl wears a bikini she's brave you know or if a, a thin woman does it she's triggering and i mean how is that not fucked up I mean, what if fat people were triggering to me? And I mean, I, I know that that sounds horrible to say, and it is bad to say, but, um, and people have asked, uh, or I, I mean, it's a question that I see brought up a lot whenever people are discussing people with eating disorders. It's like, if she's fat, then what does she think of me? Or, um, but I mean, personally, I can't speak for everybody like me, but I don't have an opinion of you based on your weight. And it's a uh, really, really hard to explain how I see other people and their weights, but uh, I fuck up with that all the time because, um, yeah, I, I mean, I genuinely perceive myself as fat. Like, every time I get on this subject, I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. But um, uh, it's there, there, there's, like, a lot of, like, it, this, is, this is the big thing in an anorexic head. It's like, if it, I 100% I believe Eugenia absolutely believes she's fat. I mean, um 
people have asked me, do you really think you're fat? And the way they asked me, like, made me fucking flabbergasted because I forget all the fucking time that other people think that I'm not fat. But, like, the other day, a friend of mine said that she could see my ribs, and I just thought, well, that's not because I'm getting thin. That's because my, bo my bones are fucking huge. Like, she can only see them because my bones are fat. But no one's going to swoop down into a department store and change a mannequin and fix those problems. And that's not going to fix your diabetes. That's not going to fix whatever the fuck is wrong with me or you or anyone else. And I think this belief of, oh, my God, health at every size, um, everybody is beautiful. It's just it's gone too far. And uh, a lot of people are just like either like dying or digging their heels in deeper right now. And it's not working and most of the people that got involved in it um, understand that now they're kind of putting themselves at risk. But then they also kind of like built this whole fucking thing and they have to like come out and be like, no, I was like wrong about everything for like a lot of my life. Um, and I mean, that's one thing that bulimics and anorexics never fucking have to do is sit there and tell you that like, uh, oh, it's healthy and it's good for you and really all OK. Like they know when they just still do it. Body positive people are way more in denial and I don't know which is worse. And uh, but what I do know is it's not cool to keep making eating disorder people a point for your argument. I mean, a salad isn't going to make tests like me you know weight watchers will not make fat girl flow like me um glitter and lasers loves and respects herself way too much to ever be like me but um i think recovery influencers also kind of fall into this like bullshit cycle too you know it's like when people make a video a weird thing happens where they believe they have to be the savior. Like every time I see a Eugenia video, it's like they have to be say the thing that saves her. Like even I, uh, I feel like I never, like I never tried to save her. I knew I know better than that, but I mean, like I, I kind of want to at least. I, I think my whole thing is like I'm sick of the way everybody talks about eating disorders, and I want to quit hearing about it like I'm in a lifetime movie you know uh, I think that was my whole thing and I I, I also want to make sure that none of us can be forcibly taken to a hospital that sucked that was stupid and um but anyway um what was I saying <laughs> Uh, yeah, a weird thing happens whenever people make a video and they think that they have to, like, be the hero and, uh, change everyone's lives or something, and, uh, you don't really inspire people through a video, you know, people who are already kind of in that mindset just look for more stuff to reinforce the ideas in their heads, but... When people do body positivity videos or fat acceptance videos or anti-fat acceptance videos, it's like, look at the pro annies. They're, they are public enemy number one, and we got to go eat them before they make us call Jenny Craig and drink water. And so it's like, if they're going to be the bod paws hero warriors, then we're the demons. We, it's like, okay, we used to write stories with good guys and bad guys, but now we aren't. We're acting our real lives out on camera, and real life is a lot more blurred and complicated and messy than good versus evil. And I think people are kind of just making asses out of themselves, trying to save everyone from skinny department store mannequins, because it's all just getting stupid and we're sick of it. But do we really need to keep changing all of the words and the censors, and I just, I don't know, I just, no one is out here doing all the right things all the time perfectly. Every single person who made a YouTube empire being a lifestyle darling because everyone, like, it, it always collapses because everyone's lives are fucked up, and everything you see on here is just all bullshit, and it's not all their fault for showing it to you i mean like you were the audience you demanded it you wanted more and you uh you wanted them to you wanted more of them being a certain way and i mean you can't really blame society either if you are society i am society i mean there are no recovery accounts there are no perfectly body positivity 
accounts. There are no lifestyle accounts that can promise you all the great things that you want because you know you can't outsource change. You can't go copy someone online until your life is perfect. I mean, that's just a miracle drug. You're promised with no actual fucking results. I mean, you. we all know that the real answer to getting better or anything in life is overwhelming hard work, hope, and luck, and maybe your life will be a tolerable, but I mean, mostly it's just fucked for everyone. So, I think everyone just kind of just wants to watch, like, an Amberlynn Reed train wreck or a feel-good hope story, and I get the pressure of wanting to be the hope story instead, but, um... The expectations are just too high, I guess. And um, feeling like you have to be the best possible example of whatever the fuck your audience wants. Because um, when that praise pours in, it's it, it can feel it's intense. It's like, no, 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 I'm a fuck up. I ruined my life. And I, I don't... Uh, the words I say don't fucking matter. I'm stupid. I dropped out of community college. I'm a cam whore loser. I have no business influencing anyone. But I mean, then... And uh, neither does anybody else out here trying to fucking do it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be better or trying to improve yourself and trying to help other people do that. Like, sure, but I think people just get carried away and people, like, it just kind of goes to their heads when other people are told that they're helping people or something. I don't know. And then I, like, I think that they kind of feel like they're responsible for doing it too. But, um... Glitter and lasers, I think, just craves a lot of validation without the responsibility of it. And I think um, that's a lot of um, people's problems whenever they come and start, like, getting better, stuff like this. You know, it's just, they, they, I, I don't think that a lot of people are, like, a lot of people have problems, um, being honest with themselves about how deep their, their demons are, and, um, uh, I think we can figure this shit out, but, uh, I don't think that means, like, ban it and quit doing it, I think it just means, like, hold up and reroute and, like, zoning in and targeting people like Eugenia and Amberlynn and doing all the exact same shit to them over and over and over. That's kind of what gets me about people who are like, fuck you, Amberlynn. Like, I don't want to say anything like that nasty about glitters or whatever. Like, she seems like whatever, but, um, I, like, I don't want to just, like, attack her, but, uh, and I want to be, like, one of those people that are just like, fuck you, you won't do anything to change, and then that's not doing anything that's changing on their approach to them either, I mean, how the fuck is that going to help anybody? I mean, like, even if you're, like, keeping the cycle going by being like that, then aren't you just part of, like, what's enabling them to, even if it's only by proxy? But, um, anyway, yeah, everything is stupid. Bye.